Hey everyone, Mr. Farrell here. And today for my staff's Get to Know You Question of the Week, we were asked, what led you to the Boys and Girls Clubs? How did you become a YDP or youth development professional? Those are two very good questions. I've been in the Boys and Girls Club for about eight years now, maybe going on nine. Um, started back in 2011. I did some voluntary service for my church. Um, I was the president of the of our youth group called the New Generation. And so at that time, I was really working on developmental skills, um, leadership skills and stuff like that. And after a while, I really enjoyed it so much, I decided to pursue a career working with, with kids. Um, the Boys and Girls Club was a great uh, program, great outlet in our area for kids to go to. Um, I was part of the Boys and Girls Club also as a child. Um, it was very, very, at first it was very enlightening. Um, it wasn't what I expected it to be, um, working with kids. We did have a lot of fun with them. We also were engaging, but I had no idea it was so, um, I had no idea there was so much behind the programming that the Boys and Girls Clubs did, um, with the kids. Um, each program was, it was great. Uh, we ran it, um week by week day by day we broke it down we had our own set of programs and i loved it it was very fun getting to know the kids working with kids um running the programs with them and also being able to get to know my coworkers was also great a great great thing um we're still friends today uh but it's it was really just the experience of actually giving back to the community and knowing that i had a chance to make a difference in someone else's life um because the difference that was made in my life as a kid where it being in the Boys and Girls Club and also volunteering for my church. Um, adults are needed for kids that don't have it. You know, if there may not be someone as a role model in someone else's life, you could be that role model and you may not even know it until you take that step forward or that leap and become that person that someone else leads upon or depends upon. Um, and I've seen myself uh, that maybe I could be that person and I have been for quite some time and I enjoy it. I love it so much that I've been here for eight years. So it's very, very, very fun for me. It's a very, I don't even see it as, as work. I see it as coming and getting to have fun and be a kid again that, you know, that I kind of wasn't when I was, when I was young. And again, working with the Boys and Girls Club is always uh, enlightening. It's always uh, 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 like a leap of faith. It's always something that you don't expect. There's always changes and turns every day, but it's still something new. It's always fun. It's never the same boring thing every time so that's probably why i enjoy so much being in the boys and girls club and y ydp getting to see the kids every day um the smiling faces getting to know new people it's very fun and i'm very much of someone who's not really like a person that would get to know a lot of people but when you work at the boys and girls club it kind of changes you it makes you into something it helps you do something things that you've never thought you could do and so um working with the boys and girls club has just been like that big next step for me and i appreciate them a lot it's very fun it's always energetic um always new and never changing so it's just great for me well, that's pretty much it for me i'm mr farrell hope you guys continue to stay safe wash your hands and also have a great day um just catch you guys later see ya